Hello everyone, welcome back to DSW YouTube channel. Hope you liked our previous content related to this series known as Data Hacks. We are back with our next hack, but before starting that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press that bell icon so that you get a notification every time there is a new video from our side. Let's begin then. Today we are going to discuss an important topic known as web scraping. Web scraping is a process of retrieving or scraping data from a website. We can use web scraping to read HTML contents and process them according to our needs. Let's get started with the coding part now. We will use beautiful soup for our purpose today. Let's import the required libraries. First of all, we will read the URL into our notebook using URL module provided in the Python. URL module is one of the major URL handling module for Python. So we will use URL open function to read the URL into our variable. Now comes the application of beautiful soup into the play. Beautiful soup is a Python package for parsing HTML and XML documents. We create a beautiful soup object by passing two arguments. The first is HTML. It is zero HTML content. And the another is LXML. This is the argument that is specifying the HTML parser we want to use. Now we use the soup object to perform different operations. First is soup.title, which is used to get the heading of the web page. As you can see, the heading is the data science. Next is Spitify. It gives the visual rep representation of a source code. Although it is not suggested to use this as, as sometimes it makes the system too heavy and can cause system to hang. So this is the code. We can also find different tags from the complete file using find all. Like here, we are using find all to find each and every anchor tag present in the row code. Next, we will use these anchor tags to extract the outside links referenced in the code that is all the HRFs present in the HTML tree. This was a basic tutorial to read the HTML file, parse it and use it to perform different operations. Now we will see how we can convert a raw data into a data frame for further analysis. For this purpose, we will now use request module to read the data into variable. Python request provides inbuilt functionalities for managing both the request and response from the server. After reading, we will again create a different beautiful soup object and we can again use the data to perform different operations again. So basically, soup object can be made from any Python URL handling module. Now for reading tables into a data frame, we will use file handler. Here we are opening a blank CSV file and writing the contents of the web data to our CSV file. And then we can see that we can use the data frame to perform different operations. This was the application of different tools like beautiful soup, request, and URL lib for web scraping. There is one more tool for web scraping known as Selenium, but it's a little complex one, so we will try to cover it separately. But we will give you a small heads up to the same. Selenium is a powerful tool for web scraping. Selenium can help you to automate your day-to-day -day tasks like controlling your tweets, WhatsApp texting, and even just Googling without actually opening a browser in just 50 to 30 lines of Python code. So that's it for today. See you next time. Don't forget to give the thumbs up if you liked the video. Also share it amongst your friends and colleagues to spread the knowledge. Link to the code shown in the video is provided in the description. Thank you.